Good morning. I know I look crusty this morning. I just got up. I am having my coffee. Today is Sunday. And I am still in bed. Um, yeah, so I'm at home. Still in bed. And it is 8 o'clock in the morning. My kids are not home. So, you know, figured I could vlog at home a little bit. I'm trying to figure out where I could prop you guys. But, um, I went on a little date last night. And that was interesting enough. Um, I have on some press-ons because I didn't have time to do my nails. Um, it was a long day yesterday, which is why I look like this. So, excuse that. And I got a random rash. And I don't know what the heck, where the heck it came from. Um, hmm. I had to put something on it. You guys can see my freckles really well in this lighting and no makeup on. And I still got a little bit of makeup left over from last night. So, anyway, that's not what this is about. So, I am. My room is a mess. So, ignore that. And, yes, that's a bottle of wine on my dresser. <laughs> or on my um, vanity. Because I had some wine last night when I got back home. I am. <coughs> Where's that cough again? I don't know when I'm going to put this out because... I kind of want it like this to be a surprise and more of like a release date type of thing. But I created a journal for Lash Text. Um, and <coughs> it's getting better, I promise. I created a lash journal for that. I created a journal for Lash Text. Um, it's so cute. I am still in like the pre-publishing stages and um, I have a couple errors to fix with the margins and stuff like that. So I'm about to go in and do that now and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of creating, you know, a book or writing a book or creating a journal. So I do plan to create more journals um like it could be like one for nail text lash text you know whatever whatever it is that you do for a living um in the beauty industry industry so i want to work on those and i also want to work on um i want to work on oh like a book book like just kind of like a, I don't want to write a long drawn out book. I just kind of want to write like almost journal entries, um, little snippets, I guess. But anyway, let me go in here and do what I got to do. I'll be back. So just so you guys know, to design my book, I use an app called BookBolt. Um, but Amazon also has like a creator section Um and we can get into that, I guess, in more detail in another vlog, possibly. But just kind of Google Amazon KDP. Um, if you're ever thinking of self-publishing a book. So that is what I'm doing. And, you know, your book doesn't have to be, again, like, um, like a chapter book. It could be a journal. It could be a notebook. It could be whatever you want. So here's mine. I mean, this is this is not my book, but this just shows you like your back and front page. Um, mine is going to be over here in my save designs. And wait a second. Uh -uh, yes, I did. Hold up. Where is my design? Oh, shit. Hold on. All right, so I'm back, and I'm still in the bed. I'm exhausted, you guys, but I figured it out. I basically had to do it all over again, but anyway, so I am on the Amazon KDP um, page, and what I'm doing here is just checking, like, everything 
in my book, make sure it looks good, make sure the margins are correct. I hope I don't have to deal with that again. I resized, look at Coco Melon or whatever his name is, Baby JJ or whatever. I resized the book. Originally, it was going to be like five, I don't know, like five by six or whatever. So I made it seven by ten because I like a larger book. And um, like I wanted it to be closer to notebook size rather than like pocket size because I know I'd be having to write a lot of stuff down. So I'm sure. Hold on. I'm going to approve this. Oh, actually, why is that double? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See, look. Let me see. Ah. So, this line is not supposed to be doubled. I don't know why that did that, but I'm taking that out. Um, yeah, no. No, no, no. So, I gotta go back. figure that out this has been like fun but a pain in the ass it says please check can checks can help you find and fix blah 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 that the information in your interior matches mm -mm -mm. from wrapping onto the front or back cover and it is inside the guidelines. All right, so I'm gonna exit the previewer. And I know I'm crunching, but let me go back to book bolt. I don't know how I got that extra little thing there so we're gonna click download okay. we're gonna save this into uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. so I'm gonna save it under cover to replace it Go back to KDP. Scroll down. So the manuscript is my interior. I'm going to change my cover file. Because that wasn't right. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you take it forever. Okay. That was dramatic. It wasn't forever. So, anytime you make a change, you got to launch the previewer to approve the changes. Make sure that everything fits inside of um, the guidelines. Now, this part does take a long time. So, I won't make you guys watch that, but I am so tired. So, today, I plan to... My dating life is trash, you guys. So, I've been like... Wanting to go on dates, and this was last night was the first date in a while, and that could be like a story time for another day. Um, but what I plan to do, like, I'm kind of like, I don't know, right now, how I feel is I'm good on the whole dating thing. Um, I'm not really seeing anything that I like, anything that fits with me, anything that aligns with where I see my future going. I don't really see anything, um, I don't want to say of value, because I feel like everybody is valuable. Um, what I don't plan to do is be any become anybody's mother. Um, just, you know, I want somebody who's equally yoked. I want to be able to um, enhance each other's lives, um, not be responsible for making somebody happy and I don't want anybody feeling like they're responsible for making me happy so anyway we could get into that all day I could talk about that all day but what I plan to do I've been seeing it go around TikTok but my 
one of my goals on my um uh vision board is just like you know self-love self-care self-love all of that i already have plans for myself for valentine's day and i cannot wait um i always do something with my kids too but i'm talking about after they go to sleep you know i plan to buy me some cute pajamas and blah 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 but anyway today at some point whenever i get off this bed i'm going to dollar tree and i'm creating like um a self-love bucket or jar or whatever you want to call it and I am going to pick something out of that jar once a day. And I want to take you guys along with me on the journey. Because we got to love us first. And not that I don't love myself, but I do feel like, you know, in this time where I'm like waiting, I guess for whoever God has to send my way. Um, I don't want to feel like I'm missing something. Like, I don't want to feel like I have to wait on a date. If I want to go on a date, I can go on a date by myself. If I want some roses, I can go grab me some roses myself. You know, like, I just want to treat myself. And whatever comes along um, will be extra. You know, it'll enhance, like I just said. So anyway, went on, on a, off on a tangent. So now... It's been uploaded. I have 234 pages. I know that sounds like a lot, but who wants to keep buying on the same journal? Like, I don't know. I, I could go through journals like crazy, but I wanted to provide enough writing space in here um, for, you, for it to last, you know? So I'm going to approve it. Approve. What happened? Okay, okay. So I'm approving it. Your book has been assigned. Blah blah blah. My publication date. Da, 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 da. The size of my book. I'm doing matte. I was gonna do glossy, but this is a paperback, and I feel like I don't want it to be glossy. And then once you're opening it, closing it, opening it, closing it, it starts to look messy. <sighs> I was gonna do a hardcover, but I'll do that another day. Summary. So, my this is going to be my printing cost. Now, the cost of my book is going to be what did I set it as? I think I set it at ten dollars, which I feel like is a good ass price. Um, do 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 do. Yeah, $10. I feel like that's an awesome price, especially for something like so personalized. Like I catered it to what I know I like to keep track of in my studio. I even have a portion at the end of it. Next, we'll review your book to ensure it meets KDP's. Okay, so now I have to go through this all over again. Make sure that it meets KDP's guidelines for book details, content, and quality. Um, and it could take up to 70, 72 hours today, Sunday. So hopefully I'll get my feedback um, no later than Tuesday, I hope. And I hope everything looks good. Because this was a little tedious, more tedious than I expected. So in there, I have like an expense tracker, a to-do list. Um, I have like this page where the top is blank and the bottom has lines. So in my head, I would personally use it for um, like your client's details. So you might put your lash mopping there. You might write down, um, you know, just whatever their specs are for the lashes they typically get, like especially for returning clients. Or you can create just, you know, you can also use that as a way to create different styles um, and have your own lash maps saved and ready to go in your journal. Um, what else do I have? up? have a page for taxes, uh, projects, like any projects you have due or upcoming, a call log list, um, 
I have regular line journal pages. I have blank pages. Uh, what else? What else do I have in there? Let me see. Um, oh, inventory list. I don't know if I said that already. A password tracker, which is always great. So this is my project to complete sheet page. Um, I didn't put this in there only because I felt like, you know, this wasn't really the vibe. <laughs> so I figured you could use the blank pages as like a, a way to bullet journal, even the line pages. Um, here's the call log, a to-do list, reminders, uh, whatever is due, whatever you need to follow up on, and extra little notes. So I think it's going to be a really handy notebook or journal. And I plan to make one for nail technicians, estheticians, um, and maybe even, I don't know if I'm going to put waxing in there because I might, you know, you can, that will fall under aesthetics anyway. So yeah, I think just estheticians, nail technicians, maybe makeup artists um yeah maybe makeup artists so we'll see what kdp says about my book so still looking a mess threw a hat on so it could be a little bit better um but i decided to not go to the studio because i am exhausted it's 10 50. i just left the grocery store and dollar tree so I got my little stuff for my Dollar Tree box or my um I gotta take this hair out. It is like matted. I'm gonna take it out tonight. Got my little stuff for my Dollar Tree um self-care box. So I'm gonna do that. Now the only thing about grocery shopping is taking all this shit out the car and into the house. And I have an apartment, so I had to go up a couple stairs and everything. So I will see you guys once I am doing my little jar. I am so freaking tired. I think I'm like slightly hungover. So that's probably why I feel this way. But I haven't eaten breakfast. I did buy a quiche. So I'm gonna cut me a slice of that, put it in the air fryer, have some, I really just want like a tall glass of water or I should have grabbed some orange juice. I did get apple cider. Um, I just need something cold and fresh um, and refreshing. So, oh my God, this looks like a rat's nest. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do that. My throat is sore from coughing, <sighs> but whatever. I'm going to try to get in a nap today, but I have so much laundry to do. It's not even funny. So, I know this vlog is, like, way different than my norm, but this is what I do on a typical Sunday. Obviously, I don't go grocery shopping every Sunday, but I swear I'm at the grocery store all the time. And then I really wanted to come on and show you guys the journal and my self-love thing. So, I'm probably going to do, like, a TikTok for the self-love thing and... Maybe I'll add the TikTok into this video. Um, but I'm going to still take you guys along and see how I do it. I didn't get the jar just because I didn't find one that I liked. It was There was only one there with a blue lid. And I'm a pink kind of girl. And of course, there's no parking. So, I'm going to do this. They always take in the freaking parking. My parking spot. We don't have a sign parking, so technically it's not mine. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along while I, you know, do my little box or whatever. And I gotta get some stuff too for Valentine's Day. But that's not what this video is about today. I think I just got like sticky notes and I'll write on the sticky notes and pull one out. I also bought myself some flowers today because period. <sighs> Alright, let me get this stuff in the house. <sighs> 